Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech. Sushil this side, and this is continuation of Power BI projects. So this is part two of Power BI project, and today we are going to see the world GDP in US dollars. So our source is again web source. So I am going to use the IMF website to get the data, and after that we will create this beautiful visualization. Let me explain about this. So here we are having two slicers. First is year, and second is country. and in the right side we are having this card so this is our current date after that in the bottom of this world gdp in us dollar we can see the first visualization that is our tree map chart and it is having the value for top 7 countries by gdp in the right side we can see the overall summary and it is year wise so we can see the country is india by default i have selected and here we can see the data for year wise like it is 2020 then 2019 2018 then 2017 and it is in decreasing order in the bottom we can see this table so in this table we are having the country in the first column after that we are having the years and the value for that particular year if we will move forward in this table then we can see it will be going to up to 2020 so it will start from 1980 and will move forward for 2020 so this is what we have in this visualization so here let me explain about this filters so if we'll change the year filter then the tree map chart only be affected and other will remain same for example let me select for 2020 instead of 2019 so we can see the only change in the top 7 countries by gdp so this is in year 2020 and if we'll change the country then it will only impact the overall summary by year so let me change this india to for example afghanistan so here we can see the data so we will see it will start from 2002 to 2k20 so it is having data like this so we will create this beautiful visualization in this video so if you are new in my channel so i would request to you all please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and first of all just press the like button on this video so it always motivate me to record more and more videos on the power bi so let's get started first of all let me open the new power bi so this is the power bi desktop now go to on the our web browser so i want to use the google chrome so i am here here we can search this imf world economy outlook database here we can see december 2k 19 but here we are having the data up to october 2k 19 only so just click on this and we need to wait here we can see by country so we can click on this after that here all countries after that continue here we can see the option for gross domestic product current prices us dollars so just select this and continue so i want a data from 1980 to 2020 so let me select that and here 2020 after that prepare report it will take few seconds and we'll get the data now go to on the power bi desktop so here it is opened so let me cancel this from here so we are in the power bi desktop just cancel it so here cancel it as well and here we need to get the data so we can go on this get data after that here we can select the option for web and we need to wait few seconds so here we need to use the url so go to on the website and let me copy this url and i'll also paste this url in the description of this video so if you want then you can copy it now paste it here now click on okay it will take few seconds we need to wait it's connecting now here we can go on the web view so here as we can see the table 1 so we are required to use only table 
so we can select it and after that here we can see two options first is load and second is transform data so let me click on this transform data so it will move to query editor so we are in query editor now we need to clean up our data so here we will start our project so don't go anywhere just watch all these steps and you will learn a lot of things from here because I am going to explain this project from starting to end. So let me start. So here as we can see the first row, so this is not the correct one. So we need to remove that row. So how we can do that? So here we can see the remove rows. So we can click on this, remove top rows. So how many rows we want to remove? So we want to remove the first row. So we can specify one row and click on OK. So here we need to wait. Now it is the removed. Now we can see the first row. So this is the header row and the column 1, column 2, column 3 is not the correct header. So how we can put our first row as header. So we are having the option in Power BI. So here we can see the use first row as header. So just click on this. So first row is our header now. After that here we can see we are having all these data like 1980, 1981, 1982 but here we can see the value like NA so this NA is not the correct value so we just want to replace this NA by 0 so how we can do that let me select all these columns first after that we will try to remove so let me select the, all these columns and after that we will remove these NAs so here is our last column so after that go to on the transform ribbon and here we can see the replace value just click on this what we want to replace so we want to replace na by which so we want to replace by zero now click on ok it will take few seconds now all na should be removed so let me check so here we can see now we are having zero instead of na so all values has been replaced as we can see the last column which is not the good one so we just want to remove that column so here remove column so this column is gone now what next we want to do we just want to create a column for year and next column for the values we don't want to get these values as year in the columns so how we can do that so let me select all these columns after that we will try to do that so let me select all these columns and here 1985, 81, 80. So what we want to do, we just want to unpivot this data and all these columns should move in a single column and all values will move to another column. So how we can do that? So this is very simple in Power BI, go to the transform, here we can see unpivot columns. So just click on this now we can see the attribute and value so in the value that is zero for some of the countries and in attribute this is the year so let me rename this as year now it looks good so i guess we have made a great progress in our project and we have cleaned up our data and we made the data as we want here we can see the country series specific nodes that is not required to us so we can remove this column as well so go to the home ribbon and here we can see a remove column just click on this so now it looks good and we are having all the required information now we just want to load this into our power bi desktop so we can go and close and apply so we need to wait few seconds and it will be loaded in our power bi desktop Now we can see it's loaded and inside this field we are having this table 1 and it is containing the country then scale then subject description unit and value and years. Now it looks good. So the first thing what we need to do. First thing as we can see the header which is word GDP in US dollars and the background for that. So how we can do that. So here we can see we are having an option for text box so we can save that one just minimize this filter and here let me 
drag it on the right side and make it bigger and smaller from the bottom here what we need to write we want to write the world gdp in us dollars now we can select this and we can increase the size so let me use a 36 it is bigger so let me use the 28 and here we can set it as white color oh, let me select one more time and try to replace it as white on font so now font is white after that here we can select the area so now it looks good next thing what we need to do we need to use the background color for this so go to the visualization and here we can see the background background is white at yet let me use as gray so this is not the good one so we can use the darker so a little bit like this so now it looks good next thing we need to add two slicers first for the country and second for the year so go to on the visualization and let me select the slicer and here go to on the ear just drag it and drop inside the field so it will have the values but we just want to get these values in the drop down not in the list so just click on this and here select the drop down now we can put this as smaller as we can and make it smaller from the bottom and drag it and drop inside the text box now what we need to do we need to format this year so go to our existing one here we can see the year then 2020 so this is the format that we need to make so go to on our project and here go to on the format and here first thing go to on the title and use this title and slicer header we just wanna off the slicer header and in the title here we wanna write the year and scroll down here we can use the font and here we can change the background color so let me change it and this is not the good one so let me select this one yep this is the nice one and alignment should be center and we want to change the font then we can also do that so I guess this is good now we need to change our background so here go to on bottom and search out for background and let me use the background as gray that is good next thing what we need to do go to on the items and here as I can see the background let me use that white now it looks good and next thing we need to use the border so go to on the format one more time and border should be on now it looks good next thing just copy it and paste and just drag it on the right side and try to make it bigger a little bit and make it bigger for year as well in the year here we need to use the country so just delete this field and try to drag in and drop the country inside this field that looks good and we are having the countries over here but we need to change the title for this so go to on the title and let me change this for the country so let me use the country now it looks good next thing here as we can see the font size so this is not the good so if we want then we can also increase the font size so how we can do that go to on the format and here go to on the items and scroll and we can increase it i guess this is good and we can also use it and go to on the format printer and try to use in the second one so that is also bigger now we can see now it looks good and in the country it's also good 
next thing what we need to do we need to use the tree map chart so how we can do that go to on the visualization and here we can see the tree map so we can click on this make it smaller from the right side and bigger on the top side and bigger on the bottom as well so what we need to do over here we need to use the country in the group and after that use the value inside the values but here as we can see we are getting this count and if we can use the sum then we don't see the option for sum why we are not getting the sum over here because the data type of this value is not the correct so we need to change the data type of this value so how we can do that go to on the query editor click on this and here we can change the data type so you scroll on the right side and data type of this year it should be integer so whole number and the value it should be decimal so we can select the decimal for this now it looks good now we need to close and apply this will take few seconds so we need to wait after that here as we can see the count of values just click on this and now we can see the option for sum so now it looks good to me after that here we can see we are having all the countries but we are expecting only top 7 countries so how we can do that go to on the filter and here on the countries here we can see the basic filtering and advanced filtering and top n so i am very happy to use top n top 7 countries we want what is the value by which we want to apply this filter so we just want to apply filter on the value now apply this filter so it will take few seconds and now we can see we are having us japan china germany after that uk france and italy so this is the overall and we just want to select the year and it will be changed so let me select for 2019 and it will have the data for 2019 only so that looks good next thing what i want to do i wanna use the data label over here as of now we can't see the data labels so go to on the format and go to on the data labels just on it and we can see the values in the thousands so that looks good the only things we need to update the header of this that is value by country is not the correct title so we need to use the correct title so go to the title and here we can use the top seven countries by gdp by gdp so now it looks good so we have done our first one now move to second one the second is the column chart so let me select this column chart and after that just drag it on the right side of this so here just i want to use this year in the axis and value in the values so that looks good and we can see only the value for 2k19 because we have selected 2k19 in the year and let me change the country and select the afghanistan so as we can see these two filters are working for these two visualizations as i told you we don't want to change this if we we'll select the country then it will only affect the value by year and if we select the year then it will only affect the top seven countries by gdp it will not gonna affect our second visualization so how we can do that just select this year and go to on the format and here we can see edit interactions in the edit interactions we can see we don't want to change this so we can select this as none so now we can see all these values and let me select for country and we don't want to change our left visualization so just none now we can see it looks good and here 
just click on this and try to format this so go to on the formatting go to on the x-axis here in the x-axis we can see we are having year so we don't want to display this year and in the y-axis we can see the value so we don't want to see this value over here so just scroll down and we should have an option for title so in the title just off it and do the same for y-axis so open the y-axis and scroll down in the title just off it so now it looks good and we have made a great progress after that here we cannot see the country so we just want to see the country for which we are getting the data so in the legend we should use the country so just drag the country and drop inside the legend now it looks good and in the title we can see the value by year and country so that is not the correct one so go to on the format just scroll down and go to on the title here let me change this title let me call this as overall summary by year now it looks good after that we can see we are having this bottom chart which is our matrix so go to on the matrix and let me select this and try to make it bigger and put it on bottom and try to make it bigger from top as well so now what we need to do here we just want to display the country in the rows so we can drag the country and drop it here and in the columns what we want to do in the columns we want to see the year so we can drag the year and drop it here after that go to on the values just drag this value and drop inside this values and we can check this so it's sum by default so that is good but here as we can see we are having Afghanistan only because we have selected the country of Afghanistan and we have selected the year so we are having this year only so we don't want to filter this by using these two slicers so just select one of these and go to on this matrix and none so now it looks good but it is filtering for year as well so select the year and go to on this and put it as none so now it looks good next thing what we need to do we need to select it and go to on the format and try to format it go to on the style and here so we just want to change the format so in the style we can select the border header flash c rows so that is the same now we just want to increase the size of these values on the grid so how we can do that so go to on the format again so here we can see the grid and just scroll down here we can see the text size so we can increase this so that is good so i guess we have made a great progress in our project and almost we have done it so just do one thing just select it and go to on the format and go to on the background colors and here open it go to on the background let me select this and in the transparency let me put it as 75 percent now it looks good just try to put it as right side and make it bigger we can do one thing just click on this edit interactions and now we can make it bigger now scroll down do the same for this tree map chart make it bigger now in the matrix just try to make it bigger as well after that we can see we are happy with it and let me off this and here as we can see in the overall summary we are getting the data from 1980 to 2020 but if we will click on more options but here we can't see the option for sorting by which we want to sort like we just want to get this 2020 first and 2019 then 2018 then 17 in decreasing orders so here we can't sort it why we are not getting these options because we have changed the data type of the year so go to on the edit query line and here 
we need to wait few seconds and here scroll on the right side here we can see the year data type that is 1980 that's why by default it is in sorting order so let me change it to text and add a new step that is good now close and apply it will take few seconds after that it may be work so here we can see the 20 20 20 19 80 17 after that we can see that 2008 so that is also in, not in the correct order so just click on the more option go to on the sort here we can see it is sorting on the values we just want to sort on the year so we can click on the year and now we need to wait i guess it is in the sorting order 2020 18 15 13 then it's in decreasing order as we are expecting so let me change the country and try to get the data for india so here let me select for india and we need to wait few seconds just try to make it bigger from the top and it is also good and let me put it on the bottom now try to make it bigger one more time on the right side as well now it looks good to me so here i guess we have done this project now try to compare with our existing one so go to on the existing one so here we are selecting for 2019 and so the data for the us is 21439.45 billion dollars because this data is in billions now go to on our existing one and here let me try to get this so 21439.45 billion dollars so this is the same data the only difference that i can see here we are having this date by which we are running this report and here that is missing so how we can add that one so go to on the fields and here let me select this table and go to on the modeling after that click on new measure so here i just want to create a measure that will be having the data for today's date so let me call this as today's date and how we can get this from tax so we can call this as today function so now it looks good now we can commit it and it will take few seconds so finally we have done it now we need to add a card so go to on the visualization and add this card just close it and put this on the right side of the country and make it smaller and make it bigger from the bottom now go to the visualization and drag and drop in the values so here we can see we are having data like this but we are not expecting like this so how we can change it just select this measure go to on the format inside the modeling ribbon and here go to the date time so these all are the options available by which we want change it so what we are expecting let me select this march 14 option and we we'll wait few seconds and here we can see april 14 so you can change as you want to change it and if you want to format it just select this card go to on the format and here we can see the categories just off it and we can see all these and so i hope you have understand how we can format this and how we can create this visualization rather than all the data which we are having in our existing that is same and i have explained step by step so guys i hope you have understand how we can create this beautiful visualizations from scratch to our end project so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe my channel to get many more videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much guys see you in the next video